and good evening. Very exciting because we've got our lovely Hayley in the building, swapping roles now today. Yes. Um, <laughs> I love it. Yeah, love that. So, handmade by Hayley, of course. Um, now, for the one-day special, you have brought to us some wonderful fabric dyes. I have indeed. Well, myself and the Crafts 2 team. And of thank course. You, I must say a massive thank you to uh, Peter, Jane, and also um, John and Sam as well, because yeah. everybody's got involved with these, because it's kind of one of those areas that we all kind of uh, put ideas into the, the melting yes. pot and this is what came out this fabulous set of dies and these dies are to work alongside your mocker block system Excellent. that you may already have but if you haven't we've got it available as well this is perfect so you can see you've got 17 dies in total um, now not just any dies because they are your fabric dies so they're going to cut through all of your lovely cottons and all, all sorts so um, they're a lot thicker than your normal dies and we've got loads of samples around here haven't we that uh, That's right. sort of showing what sort of blocks you can make well, with the dies? It, yeah, they're working on a, um, a three-inch patch. Okay. So that's the same size as the ones that you're actually going to get within your um, uh, your mocker block system. So what you're going to be able to create is these dies. But the key thing is with these dies, not only are they thicker, yeah. Um, be, meaning you can actually cut your fabrics with these. You've also got more than one of them, which means that you can actually yeah. cut multiples at the same time. You can actually cut up to six layers of fabric. I've been finding with these. Yeah. You could push it. It, but to be honest, I've erred on the size of caution because when you push it, that's when you can get warping of your plates and things like okay. that, and it can affect your fabrics. But you've got your squares, you've got your half square triangles, your quarter square triangles, yep. your quarter squares, as you can see there, and of course, your different sizes of rectangles that work alongside your mocker block system. Excellent stuff. So, for your one day special, and obviously, you're going to be demonstrating these, for your one day special, then you can spread the cost two payments of £34.97, 144345. Now you're saving £11, but remember this is only for the next 24 hours. Now, we've also got the mocha block that you've brought we for us as well. We have indeed, yes. yes. Now, this was where the kind of the original brainchild came from, and it was mine. it's been in development for uh, quite a few years, but again, teaming up with Crafts 2 meant that we could bring it to fruition. So what you've got is you've got your framework, okay. which you can extend, um, and uh, you're basically using those little pieces that you've got there to mm -hmm. create your own blocks, design your own blocks, so you don't have to follow um, blocks that you're taking from books and things yeah. like that and I just think it adds to the creativity and also makes it nice and simple for you Good. to learn how to put a block together lovely stuff I think we have got the video excellent excellent so here we go so you pop the frame together and then you're going to lay out all of the different ways you've got so many different possibilities with this that you can create all of those fabulous blocks then like you said you cut your fabric pop it together Bob's That's your it. uncle but the thing is you don't have to do any measuring right. now obviously the dies are going to do the measuring for you because they the right size to yep. add in that seam allowance which we'll chat about as the um, the hours progress um, but yeah it, it, it's a brilliant system yeah, yeah. I love all it lovely all cut to size as um, as Hayley said right so if you do want the mocker block on its own that is just 20 pounds and get all of your pieces 64 planner pieces uh, 095 uh, 421 however if you want to go for both of these because they can work hand in hand together you can go for the complete collection of the fabulous fabric dies um, and also the mocker block pieces and then you've got an extra five pound saving that carries over at 84 pounds oh and I meant to mention you get this as well don't you you do now this comes in with your mocker block um, yeah. so it's in the packaging um, and it's kind of like laminated so as you can actually use one of those white clean pens on that and it helps you actually calculate how many yeah. different pieces you need for your block you can actually download um, download that free of charge from the handmade by Haley.tv website as well Wonderful. Um, but, and you can photocopy if you need to you don't yeah. have to use the white clean one if you don't want to that's good um, right again spreading the cost two payments of 42 pounds and 47 pence item number is eight four five four three one so what we're going to do is go straight and I'm going to hand straight over to Hayley because we want to see how this works if you're not sure and if you've got any questions whatsoever send in your questions to studio at hachanda.com okay. Fabulous, so the first thing is the dies now these dies as you quite rightly said Alex um, are thicker than your regular yep. dies in fact I have got and it's going to be tricky for me to actually get hold of it it's that skinny your regular card making dies you can see that they are wafer thin they're called wafer thin dies for a reason well with your um, multimedia dies what you've 
you've got is you've got that thickness with them. You've also got that reinforcement in there as well, which means that they are perfect for not only cutting out your fabrics up to six layers, yep. but you can also use them to cut out things like your multimedia. So here I've got some um, mount board that's been cut out. So you can cut those out. That was using the smaller square. So if you are into your mixed media and you're wanting to cut things like your grey board and your mount board yep. and things like that, then you can do. Um, here we've got um, a very nice company that come and deliver things to your door. Oh, yes, um, yes, yes. And uh, yeah, you've got some kind of your cardboard envelopes that you can cut up there. So you can see then really, really weighty. So if you are mm. wanting to add things like your, your texture paste and things to your substrates, then you can do that with these. And of course, you've got all the different sizes that you can work with. So you've got 17 dies in total. Um, and these are brilliant. As I say, not only is it the thickness of these, it's the fact that they are so, so sturdy that you can use them with your fabrics. I mean, mm -hmm. these, you couldn't even enter the fact of using them with your, your, yeah. um, your fabrics. I mean, it, you'd be lucky to get a couple of pieces of cardstock through that, to be honest. I mean, very, very thin. Um, so with these, brilliant to use. So. I've got some fabrics ready. Um, using them on your die cutting machines, you can pretty much use them on any die cutting machine. You just need to follow your manufacturer's instructions with regard to your multimedia dies because they are a little bit thicker than your paper stock style um, dies. But different machines have different kind of um, systems mm. and, and series of platforms. I'm using uh, my lovely shiny new <laughs> GoPro um, power, which um, it, it works brilliantly with. Yeah. Um, and what I've actually done is I've introduced um, a plate that I use with a different um, electronic die cutting machine and I found that this kind of system works for me you try out with your own system and your different layers and different fabrics because fabrics can vary yeah. with regard to their density so you might need to switch around your, your kind of order but um, I've got my A plate I've also got as I say my platform which is pretty much it's, a, it's like the thickness of a C plate right. um, and uh, I've got that there I'm also using my magnetic plate so that means that my um, dies aren't going to move around when I use them and I do use the metal plate that comes alongside my go power as well and then finally I'm using my C plate um, on the top so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the dies that I'm wanting to use so um, straight away we're not going straight in with designing a block I just want to show you just how well it cuts so Lovely. and the multiples so we've got multiples of your half a square triangle so this is a very traditional shape you regularly see this appearing within quilts many of the quilts that we've got around us have got these appearing on there so I can pop my dies down now obviously the magnetic sheet is going to keep those in place if you want to take them down as well then you can do and what I've got is I've got fabrics here I've actually got some of the fabrics we've got on the show from Fabric Freedom um, and um, what I'm do going to do is I'm going to layer them up in the kind of pairings that I want to actually stitch them together so I'm going to lay down a fabric there which has got the pattern and then to match with that I'm going to pa uh, put down the solid colour that I would naturally want to um, kind of stitch to it so just make sure that you are covering your dies as you go with regards to these then I'm going to come back with another of those fabrics and again right side up because the right sides together are going to cut with that plain fabric yeah again the third fabric I'm going to pop that down in fact rotate it that way so it's that way around again covering up the area and I just need to make sure perhaps a little bit of feeling <laughs> to make sure I've covered all the dies so the idea being is when this cuts out it, they are all ready to sew together yeah. because I've taken a little bit of time of choosing the fabrics and putting them together the reason being is when you cut them you do find that kind of the air squishes out and they mm -hmm. kind of suction together all oh, right so it means that it's nice and easy for you to actually start cutting those out so let me just move that to the side bring my um, go power in got it all set up and then all I'm going to do is feed it through so again just offer it up um, obviously when you're working with these um, just do a little test piece don't use your best fabrics to start with uh -huh. um, and just be aware you may hear some cracking now if you do hear the cracking it could be something that we regularly get isn't it when we're using our mm -hmm. paper stock and we're die cutting with them but what it can be is that you've got too much fabric in there because you can cut I have cut up to eight layers wow. of yeah. um, things like my um, my cotton poplins which are a little bit thinner um, but what I do tend to do is with my quilting cottons I stick to no more than six right because what I found is that keeps my plates nice and even mm -hmm. and you don't get kind of banana plates with them um, but you can still cut out a lot of fabric because you've got the multiples of the dies yeah so let's have a little look. Take the plate off there. I can see obviously I've got the impression there on my metal plate. And what we find is because you've got a metal die, cutting into the metal plate gives you that fabulous effect of actually cutting out the fabric. So when I pull the fabrics back, um, you might find you get a couple of little snags dependent on the fabrics that you're working with. Uh -huh. um, but you can just kind of snip those out. Let me just get my little scissors there um, and just give that one a little snip there. It's just like a little tiny connector that you've got yeah. there. 
this is the first time it's actually done that. Uh -huh. um, Typical, isn't it? Yeah, um, but then you can pull your fabrics, but there you go, those ones have come. It's just that last one there that's um, snagged a little bit, so I'll just trim that one out as well. Ooh. I don't know what it does with some and not with others, but oh. never mind. 10% um, of the stock of oh, the one-day wow. special has already gone, so it's really, really busy out there. Please make sure you're checking out your baskets because they are going to be useful, very <laughs> useful. OK, so yes. obviously we've got our regular fabric, the rest of the fabric here. I've been quite um, generous with the way that I've actually cut that out, but I would still hang on to these pieces because what you can actually do and i'll show you later on is actually use your scraps up to to use those so the dies so now i've cut these out so you can see you will get an impression in your fabrics but don't worry when you come to press your fabrics they do pop out so you don't have to worry about those but you can see here all my, my fabrics have cut out but more importantly they are now ready for me to take to the sewing machine because i've got them in their pairing so for instance these two triangles um i would stitch together down that side there yeah. and then when i open it up i have got my piece ready to go but one of the things that is most important you will have noticed you've got those rounded corners those rounded corners uh -huh. mean that you don't have anything to snip off good stuff Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. That was literally that's game changing because what that means is you don't have to spend ages and ages snipping off those little corners to get everything to lie flat. Right. And it also means you haven't got the mess. So you're not going to have loads of little tiny bits on your carpet that you're going to have to yeah. hoover up on your clothes in your kind of craft area. And it just means that you are able to cut out loads. So let's have a look at what we've actually cut out. So we've got one pair there. We've got um, two We've got three, we've got four, um, we've got five there, um, separating those up. And these are all ready to stitch now. Obviously, because I'm handling them, I'm moving them around a little bit, but it just saves a lot of time. So there mm -hmm. you go, Ugh, nearly there. I've got another, sorry, da 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 da. Yeah. Talk <laughs> no, amongst okay. yourself. It's okay. a lot of pieces. I mean, I can only apologise for the time it's taking, but that's purely down to the number of the pieces that we've got. Keep going, keep going, another pairing there. So we've got, where am I? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah pieces 12 little patches ready there go. ready to go Excellent. and then what I can do is actually stitch these together and then start making up my pieces so Amazing. that's how the dies work see they're really really good um, we have now really really picked up now you've seen how this is working it's a real time saver because the bit that you want is the creativity bit we want to start sewing those pieces together and um, making our fabulous blocks there we are uh, right so for the one day special itself 69 pounds and 94 pence you can spread that cost two uh, two payments of 34 pounds and 97 pence you've got the 17 dies in total remember they are thicker they're going to go through several several layers of your fabrics one four for all and uh, obviously we've seen other items like your balsa woods and your chipboards and all of that uh, one four four three four five is the item number okay remember if anybody's got any questions send your questions to studio at tachanda.com or pop it onto facebook right so i think we've got a little bit of a nice video to show you let's take a look Excellent stuff. Right, again, I am going to uh, hand back to Hayley. What are you going to show us next, Hayley? Talk a little bit about the mocker block, but before I do that, die storage. There's different ways you can work with them. What I tend to do is I have mine just on boards here, so I've got those all laid out in front of me, ready to kind of grab at as and when I need to. But the packaging that they actually come in, I think, is a really good way of you actually using them for the storage mm -hmm. as well, because they come in these fabulous little wallets. So what you've got is obviously your different dies, but you've got repeats of them. So you've got two of your squares. So what I've actually done is I've just put little holes. This is just an A5 um, binder. That 
that I've picked up from a stationery store. Punched a couple of little holes in there. Obviously, be mindful of where your dies yeah. are sitting. Take that piece of card out or take the dies out, punch your holes, and then you can put them back in. So you can actually keep this as your storage if you're wanting to, or you can put magnetic sheets in there. And it just means that you've got them all there that you can flick through and pull them out as and when you need to. And then, obviously, you've got it on your shelf there. You can pop it on your shelf and yeah. just pull it out whenever you need. Nice. Label it up. But, of course, it works with your marker block system. So enter the marker block system <laughs> so i've got mine actually in my grab and go bag um, and i know we've got kind of uh, the pattern and, and kits for these with these so the marker block i've actually got two sets of the marker block in here so okay. um, i've got my frames which i'll explain to you in a few moments and i've got a couple of tubs here with your marker block um, mock, uh, block shapes so i'm just going to bring out one of those to start with and the idea is with regards to these you've got your frame that you are going to be able to build up and use this to get your kind of design work done. Mm -hmm. So this allows you to think about how you're going to do your design, play around with the shapes. Um, it can become quite a game for everybody in the yeah. family to get involved because everybody loves to have a little go with these. And then the idea is you literally just start building up your design. Now, if you are a kind of a, you want a little bit of help, again, on my website, you can go and find some ideas with regards to different ideas. And you'll see you've got nine patch and 16 patch. The reason being is you'll see that you've got one, two, three across there, and on this one you've got one, two, three, four. Yeah. If you're wanting to do a larger block, sometimes it gives you more scope with regards to your designs, then what you do is you bring in these little frame extenders that you've also got in the set, and then you can basically just pop those into play mm -hmm. and make your frame a little bit bigger to work with um, your 16 patches. So that would open it up to more that sort of size if you wanted to. Yeah. But I'm going to stick to the nine, and we're going to design a block in fact we'll use a design that I've already created and then we'll go from that and we'll take it through fruition to actually cutting out the shapes with the dies cool. so I'm going to work on this little one that we've got in the bottom here so um, just to follow it um, obviously if you are creating your own then you, you, you just start playing really so you might start off um, and you might think right I want to put um, a light corner in that corner and a light corner in that one and you'll notice with these they are double-sided so you can keep them for your light fabrics and your dark fabrics. Um, thank you, everybody. We've had loads and loads of feedback about other colours. OK. Thank you. Right. That's all I'm saying at this stage. Thank you. <laughs> um, so in the corner there, those are our lighter fabrics that we're going to be using. So then, naturally, I want to make this into a square. In fact, what I should have done is bring this in to show you because that's kind of like your nine patches that you've got there because yeah. I won't be able to move this because of it being the frame so let me just swap that out a moment and bring it in here so that's going to be my corners yeah so we've got that as a corner there we've got a light corner there we've got a light corner there and a light corner now I've just put a piece of card on the back of this and you can see why because you can kind of move it around yeah. when you're wanting to that's the reason why I've done that and that's why I swapped over so my corners I've decided I want them to be like that made up of half square triangles uh -huh. now one of my passions is teaching people and having um, teaching people to have the confidence to have a go uh -huh. and one of the things that I do find from a lot of people is when they hear these phrases of half square triangles quarter square triangles it gets very confusing and that's when you can start thinking oh hang on a minute this quilting lark is not for me right well all we've it got is. here <laughs> is we've got big triangles and little triangles. You don't need to know any more than that. They are, um, I have obviously got the, um, the printing on there to show what they are. So as time goes on, you will learn this um, phraseology and you will learn what they actually are when you're working with them. But for the time being, you don't really need to know. You just need to know that they are large triangles and they're small triangles. And what this system does, it teaches you that how you can make those squares. Mm -hmm. Because ultimately, blocks, uh, they're made up in lots and lots of different ways but one of the simplest ways is to make them up using patches these squares yeah and this shows you how a square can be broken down and how a square can be made by these little segments coming together so all i'm going to do over this side is put in my darker triangles there my lighter triangles here and i'm actually now working with two sets of the mocker block system because it gets useful to have uh -huh. extra ones to be honest so uh, yeah it's useful to to have a couple of sets of these nice um, so there we go. So that is the block that we are going to create. Wonderful. Um, and that's actually one of the design inspiration blocks that we've got on the website. So just for quickness and speed, I've used one of those there. So that's the design that we're going to create. So what we're going to do is we're going to then go to the patch maker. And the patch maker is the sheet that you've got included yep. within your, um, your um, packaging. Let me just find my wipe clean pen. Um, there we go. 
in fact if I've got a photocopied one I might use that because I have a tendency of getting this pen all over my hands <laughs> so it was when we're demonstrating so yeah I have got some photocopied versions I think there we go let's bring one of these and this is as I say you can go to the website and download this yep. you have got your wipe clean one so if you have got one of your notice board pens you can use that but what I tend to do is I use um, a, a photocopied version because you can actually keep these and save them punch holes in them you can give them a name of the block if you're wanting to so it could be that this is for Alex's quilt or cool, whoever like you can give it a title you can say which block it is because you might have a series of 12 blocks in your design yep. it's entirely up to you it just gives you the opportunity there now what you will notice if I slide this over and try and bring them both onto the screen at the same time this is pretty much a tick list mm -hmm. of the elements that we've created here so all you need to do is look at it a patch at a time so we're going to look at that top corner which is made up of your two triangles yeah and we're going to count up how many patches we've got that are like those because it's your patches that make you block yeah that's why it's called patchwork right so we've got one two three four so what i need to do is find on the sheet here the number of patch repeats per block so per block i'm going to have four of those so i'm going to pop four in there then the next one, um, let's have a little look. We've got the quarter square triangle. So we've got obviously the two triangles in the lighter and uh -huh. two triangles in the dark. So again, I'm going to look through my sheet here. You might need to kind of rotate the sheet sometimes because obviously they can change direction as you're working. So there we go. It's like that one there. And again, we've got one, two, three, four of those. So I'm going to write four in there. And then finally, we've got the center and the center is made up of your squares there. So again, you can have a little look. And again, we've got on the back there making up the little squares yeah. there. So I just need one of those in the center. Now, at this point, it is a good idea to do a little bit of maths. Uh -huh. we're, we're not going as far as 10. Okay. We're only counting as far as nine. We're all right. And um, basically adding those up to make sure that you have got nine in that column B. So we've got four and four is eight. And that little one on the back there makes nine. So I know that all of those patches are now accounted for in that sheet. Yeah. And then all I need to do is decide how many repeats of that block I want. Now, do I want to make a cushion? Mm -hmm. where I'm only having one yep. do I want to make a quilt where potentially I might have 10 of those and I say 10 because that's an easy one to multiply by. okay yeah yeah, <laughs> so, good. yeah it can be as few or as many as you like and then in column C that's where you're actually putting how many of those blocks you need so I'm gonna put 10 and again it's gonna be the same for all of them because obviously it's gonna be yeah you need one of each and then all you do is work your way across. So it explains it here at the top here, so you don't have to kind of keep remembering. So the number of pieces required, and again, it sounds a little bit jargony, a little bit mathsy when we say A times B times C, but basically what it means is you look at the first column. So on this one, to make that block, that little patch there, sorry, I need one light triangle and one dark triangle to make one of them. Well, I need to make four of them. So then it's one times four, and then I need 10 repeats, so that's 40. And again, I'm gonna need exactly the same in the other. Uh -huh. So this is to make my 10 blocks that are going to make my quilt. Right. Again, it's gonna be exactly the same down at the bottom there, 40, and then on the flip side, I can see I'm gonna need 10 of each of those as you can see. Oh, actually, no, I'm gonna need 20 because I need two. Right. So actually, Yes, I needed two there as well, didn't I? So 80 there. <laughs> There's been some people that were shouting at the screen there as well. Just went into kind of repeats there. So yeah, with this one, it's one times that one. That is two times that, which obviously is eight. Yeah. And then 80 there. So yeah, um, and then there two times 10. So I'm going to need 20 of those and 20 of those there. So it's always good to, to do that multiply. Yeah. So then I have got a couple of choices. If I'm using the dies, then all I need to do is start getting the dies ready to start cutting out the fabric. Cool. So I'm going to move that to the side because we're going to refer back to that when we start putting our, our project together. Mm -hmm. Another way you can do it is just take a photo of it, maybe on your mobile phone if you don't want to keep it in the frame and you can refer to that. And there are some fabulous apps out there that you can go to that will do kind of like a collage. So what you could do is take a photograph of that one block yeah. and the collage allows you to multiply it up. You remember oh. the old kaleidoscopes yeah, that you yeah. used to look through? Yeah. Well, it allows you to multiply that so you can get an idea of what your quilt will look like That's nice. from taking that photograph. Now, it's going to be monochromatic in black and white, light and dark, but it gives you a good idea mm. and that gives you the opportunity to change it around if you wanted to. But we're going to stick with that. Yep. So I'm going to come with my dies. So the dies that I need, I'm going to need my half square triangle, so I might as well bring in both of those. 
Then I'm going to have a look for my quarter square triangles. Well, I've actually got four of those quarter square triangles, so I'm going to bring those in Excellent. as well, because I'm going to use those ones. And then finally, I've got my little squares, so I'm going to bring those in. And again, I'm going to bring all four of those in. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, we can get cracking with regards to these. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to get my fabric sure, ready. That's all so good. I'll let you do a little bit of a recap if you wanted to. Nice. Uh, right, so we've got on screen for you the complete collection where you're going to get these brand new dies um, and you're also going to get the mocker block pieces. You can see how they work hand in hand. Look, these dies are going to save you so much time um, because you're not having to hand cut them. They are going to do the hard work for you. Look, at, And then you can get on with the fun bit. And as we can see, the dies and the mocker block, they absolutely go hand in hand. Um, let's show you the boards again so you can see they are thicker we just saw Hayley cut through six layers of your fabulous fabrics but also um, you could use these for your mixed media pieces because you know it's going to cut through things like balsa wood and uh, I'm trying to think what else and chipboard and things like that so they are thicker than your normal dies there you can see and I just love it and you just get sewing and that's it you get on with the juicy creative bits marvellous also you're getting the mocker block pieces in the complete collection and again you've seen how that's a really handy tool so that you can work your designs you can give yourself other ideas don't forget there's inspiration of course on Haley's um, website as well you will also be getting so you've got your 64 pieces there and then um, you can also download this sheet there you go. Well, this actually comes in with the packaging, sorry, doesn't oh. it? Yeah, absolutely brilliantly. And you can see, you know, behind we've got so many fabulous finished samples. How good is that? So you can get on and the sewing and it's just marvellous. Now, um, it's two payments of £42.47 for your complete collection. Uh, 845431 is your item number. Now, if you did already get the mocker block, um, then we can go for the dies themselves. And this is the one day special officially. You've got that £11 saving. It's £69 and 94 pence. We are nearly 20% of the stock gone and we've got a deep stock here. 144345. I think these are great, not just as a present for yourself, but for other quilters who'd be like someone who loves quilting. This, I mean, literally game changer, game changer. Uh, 69 pounds and 94 pence item number is 144345 and you are getting those 17 dies in total uh, excellent right then we have got some rulers for you here <coughs> fabulous ruler system and you're also getting I like that it comes to you in a ziplock case as well I like that it's like finishing touches and again you've got some uh, top tips here so here we go the set of three quilting rulers uh, it's just 20 pounds for the three, excellent, um, item number is 078331. There you go. And it's got all of your dimensions on and measurements as well, which is fabulous. Next then, we've got some thread clips. Very useful. These are your essentials, really, that you want to pop into your basket. Um, you are Now, you are actually getting three packs, but we can't find one of them, so there you are. Uh, <coughs> um, just so, again, so, so useful. I believe there's 20 in each pack, so you're going to be getting uh, 60 pieces. But look, there you go. So you, you've got those thread clips. And again, it's just making life easier for you, isn't it? Fabulous stuff. Um, I love that they're all different colours, simple pleasures. Uh, £9.98, pence. item number is 731288. Then we've also got a clip tool. Let's see if I can do this. You pop it there. There you go. And there you've got the clip on. It's amazing. Now you've got loads of your clips that come with it. And this is your pink version of the tool. but. This is so handy, so if you don't like pinning, you can clip away nice and easily. Um, and it's £10, and you're getting those 50 additional clips with the tool. Item number is 648403. Now, there's loads more on the website, so if you do want any of the dies individually, you can, but I mean, I'd go for the complete collection because they all work together. And of course, you're gonna <coughs> get that saving. What else have we got? So there you go, you can see, you know, we've got some really good five-star reviews going on on the website. If you're needing to top up, uh, top up on any of your essentials. Oh, we've also got some feet on the show if you're needing those. So there we have it. Um, uh, oh, we've also got some fabrics, of course. Must mention that. Beautiful fabrics. Um, Okie dokie. Right. Without, are you ready to go then, Hayley? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Excellent stuff. <laughs> Handing over to you then.
<laughs> wood. I'm just getting my fabrics organised um, and uh, yeah, making it so as that we're cutting them, as I said before, with those right sides together. Yep. Just makes it a little bit easier when you actually come to, to work with them. You can trim your fabrics down if you're wanting to. I've kind of got quite large pieces here, but I think we should be okay doing them this way, to yeah. be honest, so, um, without actually um, cutting into them. So um, I've got my light colour which I'm going to use the blue as my light colour right. and then my floral so you kind of got your, your two different colour tones you've got your light and your dark yeah. um, whichever way you want to kind of signify them I mean the way that they are with these you need both anyway so it doesn't really matter so I'm going to start off with um, the um, triangles here so these are your large triangles these are your half square triangles yeah. you're getting two of those in there and of course what this means is if we're cutting six layers of fabric in one pass you're actually going to be cutting out 12 of those yeah. so it's saving you an awful lot of time so what we can actually do is cut multiples of these there so I'm just start off with the half square triangles and all I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I've got as I've said before I'm going to have the um, the fabrics coming together so I've got the uh, the um, patterned and then my um, obviously my corresponding so those are going to cut together yeah. and then on the other side I'm going to do exactly the same so we're going to do the patterned and the corresponding now these are quite large pieces of fabric so i'm going to trim them down so as they're not feeding through the fabric um because it's one of those do as i say not do as i do situations okay um <laughs> so yeah I'm going to do it properly. <laughs> That's the top and bottom of it. All so good. I'm just going to make sure, I'm just going to trim them down so as they're pretty much the same size as the plates. Whether you choose to do that at home or not is entirely up to you. Okay. But they do pass freely through if you're not necessarily trimming them down. So don't worry too much. Oops, Daisy, pulling everything at the same time there. So what we've got there, so we've got, where am I? Um, one, two, I dropped a piece of fabric. There it is. Where is it? There we go. So... No, it isn't. Where is it? What did it? Oh, it's a I magic think it's trick. It's disappeared. There. Is that it? It's disappeared. Oh, don't know where it's gone. Let's trim it down. <laughs> don't know what I did with it. <laughs> disappeared. Right, let's trim that across there. And I'm just going to make sure, just to take a few moments. Obviously, when you're preparing your fabrics, just check them out to make sure you've got your two there and your two yep. there so right sides and my lining fabric alongside don't want it to protrude beyond your mats obviously um, and you're just going to make sure that they are sitting neatly now what you could do if you wanted to invest in more because i know they are available individually as mm -hmm. well you can add in an extra set so if you do find that you're using a lot of your half square triangles point. then you can add more of those in and i have actually got an extra set so i'm going to add those in just to save a little in fact no i'm not because i didn't put them on the boards because i didn't want to confuse people so i'll leave it just as it is like that um, and then all I'm going to do is pop my metal sheet on there yeah and pop my cutting mat on there could actually add more fabric on there if I wanted to um, to do kind of the three repeats like we were doing before but then all you're doing is basically bringing in your machine passing it all through and then cutting it as you go so there we go yep. run pass that through again you might hear a little bit of cracking that's natural because of the way that the, the obviously the dyes are working within your fabric yeah. yeah and you will see obviously the impressions as you always do with your paper crafting dyes as well so passing that through like so a any die cutting machine and um, yeah any anywhere that, that yeah you can use your multimedia dyes basically okay what I should have done is put some of those extra dyes on there so next time we will pass it through I'll put some of the extra dyes in as well cool. so again you just open it up and you can see there straight away that has cut those out yes. and what it's done is it's got them ready so so I've got my pattern fabric with my darker fabric ready to go. So that's obviously cut out four in that one pass. But what I would do is I'd repeat it. And what I'd probably do is fill it up with the other dies at the same time yeah. to make sure that I've got those other pairings put together. Cool. So again, we're going to do more of the half square triangles. Again, you can trim it down if you're wanting to. So okay. what I tend to do is trim it off like so. Um, don't throw that away because that's always good for things like cushion stuffing and things like oh, that's that. That's a good point. Talk to that. Um, so again, I'm going to pop that down like that, pop that one down like that one. And what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to utilise the area that we've got down here. Okay. And by looking at some of the other dies that we need, I could go straight in and use those little squares. So I'll find the little squares in my um, die cutting. I think they're underneath that bit of fabric possibly. Oh, there's my fabric that I lost. Is that the one that you're pointing to? <laughs> <Those things. laughs> there we go. Oh, I took them off the magnet, um, magnetic sheets, that's why, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm going to load up the, um, the mat. So I'm going to pop that down there. So pop them onto your magnetic sheet mm -hmm. and just make sure that your fabric is covering your dies. That's the key thing. Yes. Because obviously you need them to cover the area of the die to make sure that you've got all of your seam allowance um, covered with regards to those. So I'm moving those down there. So you can see even if you've got a piece of fabric that's a bit disjointed, yep. 
make sure that the dies aren't, aren't overlapping. Use a little bit of tape if you're wanting to. Yep. Um, and let me think, we wanted uh, two each of those, so that should be okay. If I put those ones down at the bottom there, we should be able to cover those with the fabric there. The half square triangles, we needed some of those as well. So I can put those to the side there. So we're not cutting out enough of the, the pieces to, to make the whole of the quilt. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut out enough mm -hmm. for us to make one of those yep. blocks. Um, and again, just keep an eye on where you've got them positioned. Make sure nothing's overlapping. Um, get your fabric in place. Obviously, give it a little bit of a feel to make sure that you've got the areas covered. I don't know if that's quite wide enough, but we'll soon find out. Cover it up again. Yep. Pass it through as well. Um, ah. So there we go. That's ready to go. Lovely. The lovely John. Hello. Good evening, John. Um, yes. So he's just confirmed he's been t uh, the, that these dies have been tested in. What did he say? All leading yeah, machines. He's, Brilliant stuff. He's got all the machines. He has, hasn't he? He has. <laughs> I've only got a couple. I've got two electronic machines and I've got a couple of the manual ones and they do work with those as well. Yeah, that's definitely the thing with, you know, John and Pete from Crafts 2. And like, yeah. they want perfection, you know, for us crafters. Oh, they yeah. Want us to, so that's what's happening here, which is great with the manufacturer of the dies. Right, yeah. So um, let's pull that off. Static has actually got hold of those as well. So we've got obviously the little pieces here. Ironically, some fabrics, um, you need to kind of do them in different orders for them to cut through um, smoothly. So there we go, you've got your poly cotton there. Now you can see that I've actually nicked that corner a little bit, so you just need to be careful when you're positioning your fabrics, but we might be all right, we might be able to get away with that piece. Yep. Popping those over there, and then we've got your little pieces here as well. So this is where you're kind of gathering up all the elements that you need mm -hmm. for your, um, your block, and then you can start putting them together. So. Um, here I've got my little square, so we needed, was it two sets of those? So I've got one, and there's the other little square. I had my little square a minute ago, it's in there somewhere. Um, but yeah, you can see we've got the little quarter square triangles there, yep. the quarter square triangles there. That little one there has just caught a little bit. Doesn't like this poly, um, this lighter weight fabric. It's ironically, it's the lighter fabric that it's um, struggling with. I've lost my little square there, but not to worry. Um, but uh, yeah, oh, there it is, it's still in the fabric. <laughs> So just trim that down a little bit there. What I might do is actually try the combination a little bit different because sometimes you can find that putting a different fabric, this one that was the fabric that was on the top, it may need to go oh, closer yeah. to the die yeah. um, because of it being a lighter weight. It's like cutting things like vellums and lighter weight fabrics. Mm. Sometimes you, you have to kind of change the combination to work with those. Um, so let me just... Pull and that, that of course, just trim is the, that off. The, the key with these as well, not just for your fabrics, but all sorts of different materials because they're your thicker dyes. There we go. So yep. now I've got these, so I can start making sure I've got all of the elements that I need. I've got a bit carried away with some of them. So we need to have, um, where am I? I've got four repeats in one block, so I need to have um, four of those pairings. So I've got one, two, three. Four, so I've got enough of those. Um, then I need um, four of those, so I'm going to need, um, well, it's actually, actually going to be, yeah, um, it's four repeats of those, isn't it? So it's, yeah, two of the, there, so that's one, two. <laughs> but the nice thing is no rotary cutters, no measuring. That's it, yeah. That's the best bit. Three. And then... I think some of these might have stuck together. I've done magic tricks with disappearing pieces, by the way. No, right. With these. I don't know how I've managed that. So that's going to make that little patch, which has got the two together. So I'm going to pop that one on one side there. Those are all going to make those, and these are going to start making up the others. Now, I will need to make more of those because I haven't cut enough of those to start with. Okay. But shall I bring the sewing machine up and show you how they start stitching together and how they come together? Sounds like a plan. Uh, I'll just do a quick recap then. We are 20% of the one-day special gone. These are the brand new dies. Um, that Haley's bought for us that is going to make your quilting so much easier because and and also you know you know that they're all going to be the perfect size uh, so you're not having to get do any measuring get your rotary cutter out or anything like that so you've got 17 dies in total remember they are thicker than normal it's 69 pounds and 94 pence with that 11 pound saving but 20 percent of the stock has gone um, and we've got a deep stock now also you can spread the cost of course on flexi buy two payments of 34.97 144345 is your item number again i do encourage you 
any questions that you've got at all, I know Hayley um, does not mind answering them, it's um, studio at uh, You can email us that way or you can pop your questions onto Facebook. But it's a really, really great system. I just think it's, oh, and then you get on with the lovely creativity bit and that's the best bit, the fun bit. 144345 is your item number. Okie dokie, you can uh, go to the website at hachanda.com or call us on the usual number 017336020. And now I can see we've got another lovely finished sample video. So this is the sort of thing that you can be making. Lovely stuff. So as I said, we've got the one day special on um, the side of the screen. Um, again, I'll just show you all these dies. They're fabulous. They're all perfect. They're going to fit and cut to size. Love that. And then here's another one of our boards. You've got 17 dies in total to cut all of your fabulous fabric. Seven, uh, uh, several layers as well, which again makes life much easier and much quicker. Now we do also have the mocha block. So if you didn't get it last time, um, you can get this with the one day special and it's a further five pound saving because the 11 pound saving on the one day special carries over and then a further five pound saving and we saw how well they go hand in hand so you can then do your design work with your mocker blocks um, and then you can start cutting using the dies. Now, if you've never quilted before, this is perfect. Even if you're a complete beginner, get this system. It's going to make life easy. Also, um, you get the patch calculator. That will come with the mocker block and also in the complete collection that we've got on the screen there for you as well. Um, so the 64 pieces in your mocker block, you've got your four large squares, 16 small squares, uh, eight half square triangles, 16 quarter square triangles, eight large rectangles and 12 narrow rectangles. And then you can, um, you can then do your, all of your design work. So here we go. You can see we're just placing these lovely blocks also enables you to maybe you can see it envision it then you can um you know and then if you think oh i don't quite like that then you can reposition it which is fabulous two payments then of 42 pounds and 47 pence is the price item number is 845 um, oh there it is that was like magic wasn't it appearing and disappearing um right then are we all right to hand over to you Hayley yes yeah, I was just doing a minute? bit of a stock check oh, okay. <laughs> with regards to my shapes because uh, I hadn't got them all cut it's just literally just laying them down and, and uh, cutting them out earlier on I didn't count properly so um I've got now um remember that's one patch um that's two patches three patches four patches yeah I've got plenty there now so all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the sewing machine um and we're going to start stitching these together um, and of course the beauty is because I've laid them down the right way it means that they are all ready to go now what I have actually done is I've put my walking foot on there because the walking foot means that your fabrics are going to pass through at the same rate and it means just makes it easier when you are actually um, kind of lining up your edges so all you need to do is when you've actually got these pieces I've got my um, extension table on here which means that I can just make sure that they are laying down and they are lining up and the area that we're actually going to be cutting is one of the short short area so not um, cutting stitching the short area which is going to be down there so I'm just going to pull these in so I've got them relatively close to hand so um, when I refer back to my block I need four uh, well I need eight of these actually because obviously we've got four in each one so I'm just going to make sure you've got your quarter inch seam because it's your quarter inch seam that these have been measured to get to work with and all I'm going to do is just stitch with this one oops hold on a minute hold on my walking foot thing has just dropped off the edge of the screw hold on you just lift that up whoops get me thread out of the way it's all right what happened was the little um the little arm on the edge had moved over right we're okay now so let me just line that up and then stitch along that edge 
So that's passing them through now. So there we go. So we're going down that quarter inch seam. Now my machine has got a little quarter inch guide on there. Yeah. So all I'm going to do is make sure that I'm putting the edge of my fabric on the edge of that quarter inch seam. I've got my right sides together and uh -huh. I just need to make up so as I've got um, eight of these little sections here. Yeah. And then I'd use some of the larger ones and then the squares as well. And then we can start putting the, the piece together. But it means you're doing the sewing. It's the bit that you're doing. I haven't yeah. had to know how much seam allowance I need to add on. I haven't needed mm. to, to do all the maths and the figuring out. It's all done for you um, because the dies will do that automatically for you. Just make sure that they are lined up and uh, it'll all be good. So does it sort of, do the dice sort of emboss almost the quarter inch seam on there? I'm sorry darling. Oh sorry, <laughs> I said so do the dies almost sort of emboss the quarter inch seam on there? It doesn't, they do emboss but I've never actually measured it actually to see whether it is equivalent to a quarter inch oh. seam so yeah I might do that but uh, I don't, if it is it's more by accident than, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> than anything. <laughs> um, but yeah I mean most machines have got a little mark on there that you can use for your quarter inch yeah. seam um, but uh, just working my way through here so lining these up and passing these through mm -hmm. um, and of course if you need more than these you just keep going and keep going and Absolutely. going for however many you need um, and I know John was talking um, about uh, a project that he was working on oh, yeah. and he basically cut all the pieces in like an hour and whereas the pieces that he would have needed normally when he was doing the old way yeah. would have took him the best part of a day oh, God. Um, I didn't realize he sewed so again quarter square triangles again just going through these lining them up there we go sorry did you say i know i just said i didn't realize john sewed well he didn't oh but he started that's cool <laughs> he's actually got this same machine ah, <laughs> as it happens We'll have to get him to send in what he's made. <laughs> now, I'm just going to stop with the... Uh, well, actually, I'll do a couple of the larger ones, so as you can see those as well. Just yep. those, um, it shows that they come together well. Because what we've done here, you'll notice that with the actual pieces, they've got the rounded corners. They haven't got those sharp corners that you usually get um, with your pieces. So let me just cut that. In between the shows, I'll probably need to make up more of those patches to finish off the block. But let's just move that out of the way just for the time being. Um, and while I am down here, I'm going to plug in my iron. Sorry, I should have warned you about that. I don't like to leave it on when we're in the no, set because no, I tend safety. to wave my arms around and just throw <laughs> things down. So, yeah, I'm bringing in my pressing mat here as well. So these are the quarter square triangles that have been cut with the dies and now they've been stitched with that quarter inch seam so instantly I can open these up yep. and you can see there you've got that half square triangle Perfection. and that is a half square triangle so you can see it matches up with regard to that size wise just while my iron that is um, heated up I'm just going to snip those little connective threads because I did a little bit of chain stitching with regard like to bunting. those it is a little Fabric bit isn't bunting. it um, so all the cutting has been done um, and the planning as well we've done a lot of talking mm. as well a lot of planning the design out as well uh, and we're well on the way for actually making these up as well so i'm going to press these and it's up to you you can um most times people will say press to the side uh -huh. which you can do or as long as you're consistent because the way that these work Usually you would have a triangle point there. What I might do is actually cut some as triangles um, and show you the, the, the problems that you can have. So let's just press those open. Nice. So then the next thing that you would do is you would take those, and again, there's no snipping involved with these. Great you would line those up together, yep. like so. Um, you use your little clippy tool um, and clip them together and then stitch them and then obviously that is then making that little patch that we were Perfect. just looking at a few moments ago. So that's how they all kind of come together. Half square triangles, again, um, those ones, actually I've stitched those on the wrong point, but to show you that the dies, although the dies are designed to make you, make you little three inch patches, which is about that sort of size, if you take the larger ones, the larger ones, I should have stitched along the long um, long edge there, I wasn't thinking when I was doing it, to make that into a square. Uh -huh. But that is actually made into a larger version of that quarter yeah. square triangle. So although they're designed to make you three inch patches, uh -huh. you can actually utilise them and make larger patches as well That's if you good. wanted to. So yeah. you can play around with those. So uh, yeah, so all you would do is keep pressing those, opening those up. Um, I'll stitch those together in between the break. I need to pick that one and stitch it again. Um, but, uh, but there we go. Shall I show you how you can actually do this without the dies though if you've not got a yeah that machine. would be really good 
Okay, right, so let's just move those out of the way. So this is, you go exactly the same course right the way through. You're designing your block, using your mocker block, you yep. use your patch calculator. But um, if you're wanting to actually cut them out using the rotary cutter system, then the patch maker die is the one that you need to go for. Right. So the patch ma uh, maker die, if I just bring in a piece of plain paper, so as you can actually see, because when it's on the mat, it's a little bit tricky for you to to actually see the marking. So let me bring uh, a bit of paper. So if I pop that there and I just talk about what we've got with regards to these. So here you have got a, re a traditional kind of um, rotary cutting ruler. And okay. what you'll see is you've got your different lines on here. So you've got red, you've got blue, and you've got black. Now these relate to three different sizes of patches. So you've got your two inches, you've got your three inches, and you've got your four inches. So your three inches are these middle ones here. So if we wanted to cut them out in the same way as we were just looking before, then all you would do is you'd get your fabrics. Yep. And again, I'm going to use some of the, the fabrics that um, we've been working with. Um, and I'm going to bring it in. And you need to make sure you've got raw edges with regards to this one. So the other one of the other rulers that you've got in the system is um, this one here, which is perfect for you to actually um, trim up your fabrics. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this on the fabric like so, um, get my rotary cutter out and give myself a neat edge along the edge like that. So this one here, they're simplistic versions of um, rulers because okay. I decided that you didn't need all the information. You didn't need the sixteenths, you didn't need the eighths on here and all that kind of um, right. paraphernalia. It just confused the issue. So what I've actually got here is um, the ability for you to just use the, the bits that you need. It's a bit like when you've got a, um, a microwave and you don't use all 30 programs. You yeah. just use, yeah. well, one. Yeah. <laughs> Usually. On, off. Press it for 30 seconds yeah. and that's enough, enough. You don't need it any more than that. Well, this is designed. So say if I was going to be cutting the pieces out that I was just looking at there. So um, half square triangles. I find the half square triangle mark on here. Mm -hmm. So that's the middle one. And then all I do is I line that up with the raw edges that I've just created. So I'm going to take that down there and you've got that right angles. If the fabrics move, kind of scratch them and they come back into place. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing there, can you? So line the fabrics up, then you bring that corner point for your half square triangle onto the corner of your fabric. And then all you do is you take your rotary cutter and you cut up and you can flip your fabrics out of the way like so and then you can cut across so what that's doing now is creating a square mm -hmm. that then i can use whichever of the methods i want to use for creating um my was it the half square i did then it was half square wasn't it so i would then come along i would put my two fabrics together i haven't got my lighter blue fabric but i draw a line i put the blue fabric on top of that draw a line across uh -huh. and then stitch in the traditional way that sometimes you do your half square triangles and yep. then obviously cut it with your rotary cutter and then you end up with your pieces that would be your half square triangles now the problem that you've got is when you are working with your half square triangles sorry i didn't cut that very well there you can find or you will find that when you start putting your pieces together, uh -huh. then you do start having those little dog ears. So that yes. would stitch together, and then you'd open that up. Obviously, if you imagine I've stitched along there, you would stitch along like that. And then what you end up with is these little corners, and these are those little dog ear corners here that you have to cut off with your scissors. Whereas when you're actually working with the dies, yeah, then you the don't back. have to because it's already been rounded off, and you don't have to worry about those little dog ears. The actual die does it for you, and yep. that's the beauty of using the dies rather than actually using them um, as the. Uh, the, uh, yeah, rather than uh, just using the rotary cutter. Amazing. Back to the dies, though. We have had a question come in. Okay. Is, can you use the dies with a manual machine? Yes, yeah, she can. Yeah, yeah. yeah, thought so. Any die cutting machine that will allow you to use those thicker multimedia dies, that is the key thing. And don't forget that it's not just about using them for your yeah. fabrics. You can use them with regards to things like your mount board. So your mount board, um, if you're wanting to use them for your English paper piecing, you can use them for those as well. Yep. There's loads of different scenarios. So, yeah, keep your questions coming. And I'll Absolutely. answer those for you. Right, the lovely John, he sent it oh, in. He? He sent it. This is your first one. Okay. Lock. Awesome. Thank oh, you, wow. John.
Oh, re ready for a quilty That's saying. That's impressive. I like that. Yeah, it's nice so fabrics. cool. I don't know where you're finding the time, though, John. That's all <laughs> I'm going to say. But good on you. It looks really fabulous. OK, uh, Hayley, yes, you're going to be back at eight. I am indeed with Janice. Yes, it, yeah, indeed. So, again, any questions, keep them coming in. Your one-day special is on screen. You've got those 17 dies in total. It really does make life easier. It's, they're thicker dies, so they're going to cut through several layers of fabric. And as Hayley has just shown, you know, it, it saves any faff. You've got all your pieces cut and it's going to save you so much time. And then you get onto the good bit, which is piecing the wonderful quilt together or whatever it is you're going to make. Um, so it is um, spreading the cost to two payments of £34.97, 17 dies in total, item number 144345. Don't forget, you can also go for the complete collection where you're going to get the mocker blocks as well, those 64 pieces, plus you'll get your patch, um, yes, patch calculator there. Details just coming onto the screen. £84.94. Remember that saving a further £5 because £11 has carried over from the one day special. Uh, also, you can spread that cost. 845431 is the item number. Thank you very much, Hayley. Not a problem at all. Thank it's you. It's really good. I really like this. Like, I want to have a go myself. You know, <laughs> I really do. Got a lot more to show you yet. So, yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> right, see you at 8 o'clock. See you later. Uh, right, I'm going to go and see Sam now. Here we go. Stay tuned. <laughs> 